Hey there friends, thanks for checking in at the range now and we're going to do a comparison with the Canik TP9 Elite Subcompact versus the Stoger STR9C. Both are the smallest handguns in their line. Stoger has two in production. Canik has a bunch but this is the smallest one. Pretty much the same dimensions. They're only an ounce off in weight. The Canik is actually a little bit heavier, well, one ounce heavier. And you can see that they have similar grip widths and length. The Canik holds 12 rounds in this mag here. They also offer a 15 round mag in the case. And the Stoger has a 13 round mag and it is offered with packages that include additional back straps and magazines. But let's start with the Canik. A beautiful tungsten finish, a Cerakote finish on the slide. Already mentioned, a 12 round magazine does have a, an extension there for three finger contact. A five and a quarter pound trigger, you can see the trigger bar safety is red. A very short reset right there. It does have a loaded chamber indicator bar and a striker fire indicator right there that is red which will go away when the slide's no longer charged. Front serrations, serrated metal rear sights, and a dot in the front. Fully ambidextrous gun with both the slide stop and the magazine, well, the magazine release can be uh, switched over. So the slide stop is ambidextrous. But it breaks down really easy. It comes with a holster. The MSRP is 440, right around 370 is what people were picking this up for when it was first released. It, it's been around about a year now, and it's a nice shooting handgun. So let's go ahead and take a few shots and we'll see how. All right, 3.6 inch barrel. Nice handgun. Canik did a nice job with this model, but Earlier this year, not long ago, Stoger released the STR9C. And it's basically very similar to the STR9. It has a 3.8 inch barrel and they shortened up the grip, 13 round magazines. And they, they have a couple different changes, but for the most part, it is the same. The slide finish is a bit changed, but the slide serrations, which are very deep, are the same. Three dot sights, they are metal too. Also a loaded chamber indicator bar. Both have a rail. Uh, undercut the trigger guard, very nice feel. Now the, the ergos on this one, I'll just say, I like them, I like the ergos a little better. 13 round mags, and this one weighs loaded with 13 rounds. Under 30 ounces, basically it's 29 and three quarters, as where the Canik weighs with 13 rounds, 30 and a half. But the MSRP on this is 329 with one mag and one back strap. And I already mentioned it comes in various packages. Trigger pull, right around six pounds. All right, so you're looking at right there with a reset a little bit longer, but not overly different. You know, I mean, it's, it's a little bit longer, but not as short as the Canik. Let's start with the tombstone on the... All right, I actually shot this a little better, but the question is, which one would you choose if you had to choose just one? And this range comparison was actually a request, and I thought it was a good idea because both of these guns are very similar. The Canik offers a lot more. It is optic ready. It is very nice looking. Both of these are made in Turkey, so we can't uh, talk too much about that. And the Stoger is, is no chump in its own right. It, this is a nice gun. And I think Stoger did a great job with it. But if I had to choose just one, I'm going with the Canik. Even though I shot the Stoger better this time, other times it would be the Canik. You know, you can't, you can't base it on just one range session. But what this offers, it's about 100 bucks more, 
but for what it offers that's a price i'm willing to pay because i like the idea that it has a holster uh, interchangeable back straps uh, it's optic ready it looks really nice and can it just they make great firearms i love the stoger and i think highly of this gun but in this range comparison i'm going with the tp9 elite subcompact my question is which one would you choose if you like videos like this please subscribe and share i always appreciate thumbs up button thanks for watching and you guys be safe